evening, Holy Fire. Today is a victorious day. Welcome to our online youth fellowship. I am Lalaine Urbano and I'm your MC for tonight. So before anything else, good news mga igsuon na naputay pa blessing karon. So tonight, we will have four blessed person. So sa mga excited na, let's flood our screens with like and heart react. Go! Amen! So, so mga gusto mo join sa atong pa-blessing, just mention at least five of your friends and comment the hashtag Guided by God after the service. Later, the winners will be announced sa Holify group chat. Thank you so much everyone. I hope you all have a great night. And now, let's prepare our hearts and our minds as we start our praise and worship. God bless us all. Shalom. Good evening, Holy Fire. Welcome and welcome back sa ang online youth fellowship. So today is May 14, 2021, another Friday of the month. And I believe na ata na rin para mag-praise and worship kay Lord. No, say Amen. Amen. So ayan, ginahang yun ako ang tanan nga manindog ta. And let's find our comfortable place kung asa ta gusto mag-worship and praise kay Lord. Yeah. So ready na ba ta? Say Amen. Amen. Ayan no. Thank you. 
worship team for that very powerful and wonderful blast that you started in order for us to welcome the holy presence of our Lord. Thank you so much. And good evening sa tanan nga nag-tune in karon and I hope you kitang tanan kay makareceive sa ato ang portions. I would like also to acknowledge the presence of our pastors, our um young professionals sa ato ang mga youth sa ato ang kids pod nga nagawatch karon and especially sa mga first time first timers for tonight and if first timer ka then welcome to our church that welcomes you as you are okay we do not promote religion here but rather a healthy relationship with the lord um so if wala pa ang imong ball pen ug imong notebook dira um kuha ana kay para mag jot down notes ta karong gabi una so that we may learn a lot so sa mga wala pa kaila sa ako ako the IC Rose Villa Campa and I will be your speaker for tonight. So um, I would like to remind everybody na let us put all of our hearts dira sa pagtune nato karon para at, um, at the end of the day um, ma receive nato at the end of the night rather ma receive nato ang conviction na ihatag ni Lord sa ato ang tanan. So everyone let us start this off in a prayer and let us put ourselves in the holy presence of the Lord. Lord God, Heavenly Father, thank you for this wonderful night that you have given to us, Lord God. Lord, thank you kaayo kay nakatune in sad mi karon and gihatagan mi nimo opportunity to listen to your word. Lord God, I hope nga kaming tanan we will put our hearts into this word, Lord God, so that we may receive receive your conviction, Lord, and we will be guided on what we are going to do with the certain problems in our life, especially with indecision. Lord God, as we learn through this word of yours, may we apply it to our lives, Lord God, and for the future um, things to happen into our lives. Lord God, once again, we thank you for your presence upon this place and we hope, Lord God, that these kind of words will continue to be retained in our minds so that we may live along with your guidance, Lord Jesus. This is all we ask and pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Now, I'm pretty sure that every one of us was caught up sa katumpangutan nga which comes first was it the egg or the chicken and then nagunahon na din ta nga dili man siguro pwede nga chicken because ang chicken gikan sa si itlog unya ang itlog sa gikan sa sa chicken so which one is the answer diba that's one simple example of indecisiveness you know like you dili ka makapili og um tama nga answer because you don't know unsa jud ang tama and that's just one of the really basic subject matters in life that we have to deal with indecisiveness one of the other examples is that um it could be a course sa imuhang college studies like mamili ka kung mag engineering ba ka or mag education ka or mag med ka um it could be sa imuhang career pohon after you graduated in college or it could be simply by picking a food in the menu or magbutter with surprise but that's just one of the basic subject matters and indecisiveness can always be um seen put in more complicated problems in life like um choosing which path are you going to be once you get older and let me tell you this Life is a series of choices and decisions. Success is basically a matter of making decisions. If you make dumb decisions, you fail in life. We make our decisions and our decisions make us because every decision has a consequence and because we're human beings, we tend to make foolish, foolish, very foolish dis decisions and at the end of the day, we don't really know what's going to happen to us. So if ever you're making um the or choosing the wrong choices in life it doesn't have um to be one of a uh, big problems kay diba ang ginaingon nila nga we learn from our failures man but one problem is we often look for the wrong thing when we're trying to find god's will and dili ta mangutan kay lord kung unsa ang atong dapat buhaton and I have two things here that I'm going to introduce to you. These are one of the blockage or the hindrances on why we are not asking God for directions. So the first blockage is that we are really self-reliant. 
kanang magsalig na lang ta sa ato ang own miss damba kanang maingon ta nga ay ma figure out ra lagi ni nako oi kay kanang bright man ko kanang very streetwise man ko skilled man ko you know we don't ask for god in directions often times because we we think that we can handle it alone you know we go with the flow on certain happenings because we find a sense of adventure like kanang la tililing lagi kayo ni kana unsa kayo mahitabo kana sige go with the flow na lang ko you know you would um really go into something stupid and then later on you will find yourself in a very problematic place for the second blockage it's negativity you know we assume that our request to god is trivial or kanang wala siya pulos kana it's very insignificant kanang mo ingon ka nga ay if i pray na ako kay lord kana feeling na ako kanang naga bother lang ni siya na kaning request kanang dili man ing ani ka importante why am i even asking for this when i can solve it on my own you know or kanang dili siguro ka um patient with god's answers like you can't wait for god's response because you're too afraid that if pangayon pa nimo ang response ni lord kay ma delay na ka sa imong ano sa imong plano or kanang you won't get into the right time na so you're just going to go along with your way instead and so now you'd ask na at mary what are we going to do in order for us to deal with this very indecisive attitude well the bible has four things that's stating about indecisiveness that will surely help us um solve our problems for number one admit that we really need a guide for number two ask in faith for direction for number three, listen for God's response. And for number four, trust God when things don't go the way you want them to be. Now, I will explain every point so make sure that you will jot down the details in your notes. For number one, we need to admit that we really need a guide. You know, this is really hard especially for us men. You know, because... Um, when we don't seem to understand anything, do we stop and ask for directions? Of course, no, because it's not in the nature of a man to stop and ask directions. It's like, we just don't do it. We just go along with our way. You know, like, go with the flow lang ta, basta kay maabot lang ta sa kong asa ato ang, sa kong unsa ang ato ang padulungan. You know, we go on our way and we don't want to admit that we need direction. Stated in Isaiah 53, 6, Every one of us have strayed away like sheep. We have left God's path to follow of our own. You know, by nature, sheep wanders off. They tend to get away from their their shepherds. That's why ang ang uban sa ilaha kay kaunan ng wolves or mamatay because of um, hunger or dehydration kaya wala nsa maino. And this is like us. We have poor visions because we're sheep. We're God's flock of sheep. We tend to wander off and we don't really come back even if we wanted to kay maulaw na ta. But the thing is, we always have to be vulnerable around God so that matabangan ta niya in times of indecisiveness and so that we may receive wisdom for direction. Stated in Proverbs 14 that there is a way that seems right to man but it always ends in death. Like it leads to death. So um, if we don't want things to, you know, be jeopardized or kanang dapat ma direct na lang jutad ni Lord, then we should speak to Him. You know, like you probably don't think you even need a guide, but you really do. So stated in Psalm 25, He guides the humble in what is right and teaches them His way. Humble means I admit that I need a guide. You admit that you need a guide because we all need to admit that we can we can't do it alone and for number two we need to have faith in him for direction if you really want to know what God is trying to tell you then ask him in prayer and you know like ask him in faith and he will always gladly tell it to you because there's a bountiful supply of wisdom and direction in God's presence and we as humans just don't expect that and we don't ask it at all so to all of you who would like to ask it to him be really sure that like expect in faith that 
he will gladly answer your prayers because if you're just praying for like sige try try lang na to pray lang nako if basig mo to bag si lord if daily okay lang sad you know just try to ask him like you fully believe na ya answer niya ang ang direction niya imhang ginapangayo and the lord will gladly give it to you and for number 3 we must admit na dili sa tanang panahon i dali dali on dayog tubag ni lord ang ato ang mga pagampo or ang ato ang pangutana sa iya for the action okay so we must be patient in order for us to receive god's response sa ato ang prayers and these responses we tend to um receive this from the bible through his word um sa teachers not necessarily college professors or high school teachers but um it could be um sa elders sa imang pastors or maybe someone na kailanim sa sa imang mga katrabaho na mas dugay na nag-serve na kay lord um it could be through Im impressions or like circumstances and experiences like pain um, mga certain happenings in your life that will teach you and makatag sa imo great conviction na ah this is what God has been telling me all along and now we are down to our last point so for for point number four trust God when you don't understand anything anymore so in Proverbs three trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. So what does he mean by do not lean on your own understanding? He means don't try to figure everything out because you're not going to understand both of the things that are happening in your life and it will certainly just end up, um, you will just end up um, criticizing an unfinished plan that he has for you. So learn to have patience, okay? It says in Psalms 3, um, 37 the steps of a man are established by the lord even before you were born god knew the steps uh, that you would take so um god cre already created a custom plan for you meaning na sa wala pa ka na tao gibuhata na kaniyag plano in which you will lead um a certain people you will become a great um son of jesus christ a leader you know the path that one day you'll stand before god and he'll say that did you take the path that i made for you and you would prou proudly say yes because you listened into his word god knows what's best for you and you should always try to put your worries away and never judge the path that god leads you until you get to the end because god does not make mistakes he he does not blew everything up and you just can't see what god has in store for you and he sees the flesh the physical ailments and all the things that you've been through and he also feels that pain because he was once a human too and that's why he's there for you so when when you can't um, understand the complexity of the things like anang delete na mao ang mga nahitabo sa mga life like everything is not going so well you're failing on your grades dili mao ang imuhang ginatrabaho or ang imuhang business naga fail na ginabayan ka sa mga friends you're you're feeling left out that's that's just part of the process of growing up because uh, of growing into faith with Christ because we servants um we also must feel what jesus has been through in order to understand and to know the true meaning of faith in christ so just try to put your faith and hope in god's complexity knowing that he has a future for you so now i'd ask you whose path are you going to choose is it your way or god's way why should you follow god's way simple it's stated in Proverbs 12, 28. God says, you go my way, you get a good life on earth, an eternal life in heaven. You go your way, the way that seems right unto man, it ends in death. And it's your choice. In the righteousness, there is life. Along that path is immortality. But the thing here is that we are given free will. Each of us, kay mga ang ultimate gift ni Lord sa ato because he doesn't want us to 
to follow him in fear. He wants us to follow him in love. I would just like to take this opportunity to tell everyone that we are all created in different types and sizes, but we all have the same vision and goal in life, and that is to follow Christ and to lead others into him. And so we must call into God and ask him, like, Lord, what do you want me to do? Which path do you want me to take so that I can follow you wherever you go? So let us all close this service into a prayer and let us again welcome Lord once again before we end this service. Let us take a minute and reflect on the things that we've done and for the things that we are not very sure of and let us just rest it all down into God's power and let him carry us on the right road. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for this night, Lord God. We thank you once again for the opportunity of um, receiving your word. And Lord God, hopefully, maritain sa amo ang mind, Lord, para magamit na mo sa amo ang other problems and circumstances that we are going to deal in life. Lord God, I pray that as we end this service, we may learn to admit that we can't do it all and that we need your guidance. Lord, please teach us that and remind us that we must not be negative and self-reliant, Lord God. We must not lean on our own understanding, but in your ways, Lord, we will trust. Yes, Lord God, once again, thank you for your presence upon our hearts and in our respective homes. Thank you so much for the blessings that you've given us in our family. This is all we ask and pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. So for our life group questions, I only have two questions for you guys and it's number one, what have you learned? And for number two, why do you think it's important to follow God's will and ask for his direction? That's all for tonight's service and see you again next Friday. We are encouraging everyone to join our life group discussion. Please contact Vince Goetia for you to be assigned to a designated life group leader. We would like to invite you this Sunday on our online Sunday celebration every 9 a.m. Thank you so much for tuning in to our Holy Fire Youth Service. See you again next week. God bless.